Hi everyone, hope you're doing good. I'm Felix Pence and today is going to be a bit more of a chill one. So I recommend you grab yourself a cup of coffee, cup of tea, whatever you'd like and just sit back and vibe with me for a while. So recently I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross videos and it's been quite the vibe. So Bob Ross is always in the back of my mind lately and I know the title of the video isn't Bob Ross is a solid vibe, although he definitely is. And you can make as many trees as you want in your painting. That's what's so nice about painting. You create your own world and you control it. You can make anything happen in your world that you want. But Bob Ross is going to be coming back later in the video, alright? It's all going to make sense. So now let's talk about Trailer Park Boys. And if you don't know what it is, it's a TV show, a Canadian TV show shot in the style of a mockumentary, like The Office, you know, a fake documentary. Season 1 up to 7 is an absolute masterpiece. I love this show. There are more seasons and a couple of movies and a animated TV show or something. They're kind of fun and there are some good moments, but first season up to 7 is pure gold. Two years ago for my film production class, my final project was heavily inspired by Trailer Park Boys. And so this show is very important for me. Maybe someday I'll make a video talking about it, but today we're just focusing on John Dunsworth. He's the actor behind Jim Leahy. He used to be a cop, but then the boys, when they were younger, did a prank on him. And then the police department thought he was drunk on the job. So he was fired and now he's an actual alcoholic. <laughs> the character is twisted by so many emotions because he wants to protect the park like a cop and he hates the boys and he's in love with his boyfriend but also sometimes with his ex-wife and he is drunk all the time so he definitely has some of the best moments from the show. It's getting cold and there's a lot of wind so I think we're gonna go inside. <laughs> we're getting the fuck out of here. That's better. I got the cat, got the liquor. <laughs> Mr. Lee, is this you talking or the liquor? Randy. I am the liquor. I'm legally allowed to drink, so if you're drinking along, make sure you do it responsibly and everything should be fine. I am the liquor. It's been a while since I finished the show, so I haven't really been thinking about it much. But recently, I've been seeing a lot of clips on TikTok. And something about Leahy reminded me of Bob Ross. I don't know what it is, because these clips are pretty bad. <laughs> Julian! I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around. Here, do you, bud? Propane, propane. Leahy, you're peeing yourself. Propane, propane. Here you go, Jim. Propane, propane. propane. There you go. Thanks, brother. Propane, propane. Propane, propane. Propane, propane. Propane, propane. Julian, what in the fuck was he on? I'm on the air, man. I'm on the air. <laughs> Bob Ross is not drunk when he's painting, but something, there's a vibe. There's a vibe about Jim Leahy that reminds me of Bob Ross, and I don't know why. So I decided to look him up on YouTube, and what I found were a lot of interviews and videos that talked about the fact that he was dead in 2017, which, rest in peace, John, and I already knew that because in Trailer Park Boys they did an episode with a tribute at the end for, for him. But I also found the Dunsworth Family Productions, which is a channel on YouTube which serves as some kind of library for projects relating to the Dunsworth family. Most of them are related to John, because he's the most famous one. For example, here we have the Toy Boat, which is his writer slash directorial debut, and also the feature film, which was his first film as an actor, if I recall correctly, and many more projects from the Dunsworth family. You should check this all out if you're interested, it's very interesting. 
But what we're going to be focusing on today are these three videos. Both of these are kind of documentaries made on John, but it's got a more like vlog type of feel. And this is an actual documentary made by John himself. It's sad that there isn't more and that there will never be more because he died, but at the same time, kind of makes it special, you know, it's a little bubble of history right there. It's so, it's such a vibe. I'm gonna talk about it, show you some clips, but after this, you really should check it out. So the first one is get a hobby, work with rocks and cement like John Dunsworth. This one is the best, okay? It's the longest one, so first of all, that's good. And also, it's kind of like a Bob Ross video because he's teaching you how to work with cement because he's building this like massive wall of rocks and sand and cement outside of his house, like next to the sea. You know, he's telling you what you need, like the material and the tools to make cement. So just like watching Bob Ross makes me want to paint, <laughs> even though I can't really paint shit, watching him makes me want to not necessarily work with rocks, but just build something bigger, you know, around the house. Just have a bigger project that you can work on over years and years. Because like he said, he's building this massive project over a long period of time. He's just picking these rocks up from farms or whatever he passes by and he's just building it over time no pressure you go for a little drive in the country and you'll see a barn that's fallen down and you can walk over and if there's nice stones there you can knock at the farmhouse next to it and you'll say oh help yourself help yourself and you do and also at some point he's painting <laughs> the links with bob ross they just keep on coming i i don't know how i saw bob ross in this I'm on here. but I was fucking accurate because the Bob Ross vibes they just <laughs> they just keep on coming it has its rewards and one is stand back and say yeah and also he's really just a nice and sweet man that it feels good to watch him you know it feels good for the soul hi my name is John Dunsworth I like to play with cement and rocks. I have no idea why. I think it might have something to do with the fact that I'd like to leave a legacy. How much water do you think should lubricate that mass? I'll tell you. Check this out. Less than a third of a bucket, believe it or not. All around here, there are little things like right over there, there's a compass rose. I'm building a theater down here. You can see the big star in the middle there. I have a very accurate case of low self-esteem. And by accomplishing things, it makes me feel better. Three years later, we get our sequel, Hanging Out with John Dunsworth, May 2016. It's a shorter video and there's a song in the background that just loops over and over again and it kind of sucks but hey you can't complain because it's a john dunsworth video so j just be grateful in this one we get to see how his whole rocks and cement project is coming along for example he finished the theater project and he's also starting a new project called the magic door because in this doorway that he's making there's a small wire man and this wire man has quite the sad backstory it's really depressing <laughs> and this wire man gives magic to the door and i mean there's got to be some magic here just listen to what he's saying this doorway has so much magic in it that when we put that man there my son came down about an hour later right because he was glad to be rid of it yeah and there was a snake curled around and all day, things like eagles swoop through here. Mark. There's not much more happening in this one. They just go on a small boat trip, and John throws some gasoline in a fire. He came through the fire. 
And finally, there's the documentary that I personally really enjoyed, and it's called This is Jim Cleveland. Hello. So Jim is a painter, and yes, I know, again, Barbara, I, I don't... I, I'm on here! So this guy, Jim, is John's friend, and his way of thinking and of living make him quite the character, and it makes for a very good documentary. It's, you should really check it out, and also, his paintings are fucking incredible, I, I didn't expect this. If I could, I'd probably buy one of them, because I really like the style, but I hear they're pretty expensive because he likes to keep them. <laughs> it's also really fun just to see his relationship with John, because they've been friends for like 60 years, so there's something really wholesome about them. You remember that, Jim? Yeah. Climbing up and lying right out on the branches? Like, we did, didn't we? With total abandon. Yes, we used to be more monkey than man. Yes, that's the truth. I don't want to spoil too much, so if any of these videos interested you, you should just check them out, I really recommend them. And there's also the websites if you want to know more. There's jamescleveland.com, which is like a gallery of his paintings, and there's johndunsworth.com, which I think is ran by his family, and you can buy some stuff. For example, there's his book, The Dictionary, which I don't exactly know what the content is, but I think it's related to his Trailer Boys character. I'm watching you, Julian, like a shithawk. Like a shithawk. You know what a shit rope is, Julian? It's a rope covered with shit. When a shit apple falls from a tree and grows up in a field of shit, it doesn't have any choice, just like Trinity. She's gonna grow up to be a shit apple tree, just like her father. Have fun in jail, Rick. Personally, I'm gonna buy the John Dunsworth Stories Volume 1, because I'm really intrigued and I want to know more about this guy. I'll tell you about it someday. Maybe just follow me on my social medias, like Instagram and Twitter, and I'll probably talk about it on them, so... Little plug. So yeah, I think it's his family that's running this... Dunsworth family productions thing. There's, for example, his daughter Sarah, which you might know as Sarah from Trailer Park Boys. She, I think she's the main one that deals with this. So, big shout out to Sarah Dunsworth. And yeah, I think that's about it for today. Uh, that's what I've been obsessed with lately, and you're welcome for the future vibes. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, just like, subscribe, and see you next time.